and I'm with Trevor Gunning. Correct. Fox consultant, another correct. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And uh, who uses a lot of salmon lures I've heard, is that, is that right for chub? Yeah, yeah, um, summer for me is about chub fishing. I've heard of salmon, I've heard of salmon. <laughs> Some some awesome. I mean, they make some awesome lures, and they it's an absolute classic down the years. So, when do you start your chub fishing? June sixteenth. June sixteenth. First day of the season. I, last year we uh, we stayed out, slept on the boat. And, Did you? And then up oh, up proper first, midnight. Was it midnight or no? no first no, light. No, no. First, first light. First light. Okay. And then off. And the day before, the where we were was absolutely solid with them. You wake up in the morning, they're gone. They just disappeared. <laughs> it took me about a week to find them properly, and then we were we were catching all summer. Yeah, um, yeah. I think we finished up. I did a tot up because I keep a, a nice record, like uh, 130 chub last summer. 130. Yeah, with with <laughs> with a good majority of those over oh, four wow. pound. Really? Uh, we didn't get we didn't get a six. No. We had some big fives and fish yeah. that would have gone six, but they spawned twice. You wouldn't turn down fives anyway, Trevor, would you? would be no. quite happy with that. So. Yeah, yeah. No, they, there was a couple, they spawned twice last year, yeah. so they didn't put the weight on right to the end of the season as it was going right. off. But but yeah, oh, cracking fish. When do they spawn? Um, they spawn in June. June? That's a, that's Are they really? It, it depends. So we're, we're just starting out and they're just... They're just... Have, they're just yeah, we could just be, just be missing out. Yeah. Um, so it just, just depends really on, on the water temperature, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Um, some years you catch it just right. Last year we ca caught it just wrong. But so it's when I'm blanking, you do. I can, I can. I've got, I've got something to blame now. <laughs> um, well, Very we nice. filmed, we filmed the first day of the season last year. Did you? And I didn't catch a chub until after the cameraman had gone. Yeah. And, and then right, after the yeah. cameraman, I went to a spot and, and I had one, but only had the one. Okay. And then after that, then we were the, the best we had. We had 22 fish in the session. Did you really? Yeah, on the boat. 22 um, fish on the yeah. session get in there but yeah excellent really good fishing you know, yeah so much fun yeah. it's all top water is it really all visual yeah. it's all visual fishing and seeing them coming out from underneath the bushes and, and smashing strike, the strike, 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 strike. No, yeah, no, 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 no. They, they, they come to we call i say, I say they come to the plop yeah. so you want i purposely cast a lure in to flick it over so and it yeah. pops in yeah and they come to the plop and, and I, so I started using my bait caster for a light bait caster for it okay because as soon as the lure hits the water you're engaged yeah so it's not putting a bail arm over or anything no, else true, true. which you can miss the fish so as soon, yeah, as, it, as soon as it hits engage boom in okay yeah and it, it's just i just enjoy it it's just great yeah, fun fishing yeah. um what sort of line are you, are you using I, knowing that knowing that it could be a six pound around the corner i'm using i'm using Eight pound braid. Eight pound braid. Yeah. Right. With a with a seven 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 and a half pound fluorocarbon leader. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't make any seven difference. Half pound. Yeah. It doesn't make yeah. any difference to what no. what you uh, <laughs> to the number of bites that you get. Yeah. It's you know yeah. it's it's not finesse fishing. No. You know they want it and they have it. And that's chub, yeah. yeah. But uh, then again, I mean, obviously chub are the most weird as a fish, aren't they? Yeah. We. I mean, I I usually I ain't got my lure box here, but. All my sinking lures, mm. um, I use an indelible ink pen and mark the vein on the front okay. in black. Oh, right. So when they're in my lure box, that's my sinkers, that's my floaters. So, oh, okay. so I'll go in, first cast, you might, you can see, you'll see one or two under the bushes. Yeah. You flick in underneath, bang, you get one. Yeah. And then they go, they drop back underneath the bushes. So then I take the floating lure off, put the sinking lure on, flick it out in the same spot, let it drift down underneath the bushes give it a couple of twitches and then you'll get a second fish <laughs> and if you're really lucky you'll get a there you go fish, that's the way to combat spook spooky chub yeah well they, yeah. Ju they just drop back underneath yeah they are they're you know everybody right. said they are spooky but when they want it they they do want it they really know? want it yeah. yeah which is testament to them taking it off the top sorry i said you know which is testament to, to them taking it off the top <laughs> well they, they they're having it they're in they're in underneath the bushes yeah that's their food source the bush is the food source whether it's a caterpillar, whether it's slugs coming out, whatever yeah. it might be, it's a food source. Yeah. So yeah. they're sat there. That's why they're there. So they when you when something goes plop, they're thinking, oh, food. Just so that's in. what you're imitating, aren't you? Of course you yeah. are. Yeah. 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 So yeah. so and then then it's a retrieve, and you, you might get hit on the retrieve, but a, yeah. a lot of them come. Just a lot of them on that plop. Yeah, on that plop. That's amazing. Um, and 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 again, Jordan, as you go through the course of the season, when you get through to sort of. Um, September time, and you're losing all the damsels are going off, and yeah. you're losing all that, you're losing a lot of airborne insects, yeah. And that, and 
all the damsels and everything they die on the they die on the rushes right so they land on the rushes and they die on the rushes oh uh, okay and so at that point in time we found, I found it a couple of years back suddenly the fish that were under the bushes are up underneath the, alongside the rushes alongside the rushes because that's their food source <laughs> so they die and then when the wind blows they get blown off the rushes drop into the so water this is this is water craft Trevor look. Right it down is, the line. So, so they're dropping off. So, yeah. so start of the year, I fish underneath the bushes. Yeah. And then, as it goes through into into sort of September time, and I see it, I found it quite by by accident, really. I didn't, it's yeah. just like because I take a lot of photography when I'm out. Right. Uh, I was photographing a damsel. And I thought, yeah. he's, he's, he's not taken off. He should take. I come right up close. Is that? It didn't take off. I flicked it and it dropped off. And you realise then. And, and then I see some others yeah. and I flicked them, they'd, they'd died on the rushes. And the penny dropped, yeah and, yeah. and then when I'm casting tight, suddenly I'm catching chub. And, yeah. that's, and, yeah. and I'm certain that's what they do. They come up for the food source. Tight to the reed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Excellent. <laughs> so, you know, it's, but yeah, big chub you can't, I don't, you know, big perches, yeah, this is something different. But like I say, I don't fish for perch in the summer, so. Oh, didn't you really? No. Any don't. reason? Got chub fishing. So I don't chub fishing. <laughs> now my, my perch fishing. I'm 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 perching now, um, okay. I, and I'll carry that right through up until the end of the river season. Then I'll go on the gravel yeah. pits for a, a month or so. Oh, do you? Um, right. And yeah. quite often I'll fish right through into June for them. Right. Um, obviously, peak as far as. Are you perching on the gravel pits? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Which it can be a hard, you know, it's a hard graph. Oh yes, yeah, without the rewards, a doubt. Yeah. But the rewards are. Yeah. Can be phenomenal. That's right. Yeah. You know. So. Um, yeah, I've had some. I've had. I've been lucky. I've had yeah, some big yeah, fish, but big I, fish you know, I've done yeah, some yeah. of the lakes. I've put hundred hours in without a fish. That's right. Yeah. And everybody yeah, says, "Oh, yeah, you yeah. caught all those fish," and but they don't see the hundred hours that you put in to no, catch that no, fish. No. You know. Um, how's, how's that work-life balance for you? Yeah, it's all right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's uh, good. Okay. As a fox consultant. Yeah. How many days a week do you go fishing? If I'm lucky, too. Yeah. I mean, I, my job takes means that I work alternate weekends. Right. So I work alternate weekends, um, which then means I get a day off on Thursday before. Yeah. And I get a Tuesday after the weekend. Right. Yeah. So that's that's good because nobody's about. No. So you get out. So I usually do I do one or th one or two of the, one or both of those days. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because you know. obviously we all know that obviously to catch fish you've got to go fishing and you've got to. Do it. The, the more you go fishing, hey, guess what? The more you catch. Um, after that, it's just obviously finesse and know, you know, knowing your A game and just getting better at it. But the more you fish, obviously. Yeah, that and, and so that I'm always interested in you guys as your work life balance, you know? And how much Yeah, how much, I mean, I spend, I, yeah, no, I still spend time with family. I've got two yeah. boys. My eldest is 24. Yeah. He's just started lecturing as a, in the university. That's it, so yeah. he's a university lecturer. My youngest is, yeah. is 16. He's just getting ready, 18, sorry. So <laughs> Took two years off of him there. Yeah. Um, he's just turned 18 <laughs> and he's off to he's off to uni at the end of this year, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, so like my boy. So that's it, yeah. 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 So, uh, you know, you keep a life balance, but yeah, um, yeah my wife's pretty good. She. She don't mind too much. I think she's quite happy for me to get out of the house. We need those kind of people yeah. in our live service. Yeah. So it's, it's true. It, it, old, old hands up. It's definitely true. Um, yeah. But yeah, no. I mean, I've, and the, the upper Thames, which is where I do most of my chub fishing. Right. Although I have my PB off the Kennet. Yeah. Um, but the Thames, upper Thames, is where I do most of my chub fishing. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm an ex match angler. So right. back in the eighties, when match fishing was it's on the rivers was a oh, it's boom, peak. Yeah. so it was 120 peg open every week. Yeah. Um, and at that time I was fishing for one of the best teams in the country. Right. So we won three nationals, we won Angling Times, really? An yeah. Angling Times yeah. League final in Denmark, the last one in Denmark. You, you must take me fishing. So, I I've, all, all, those, all those, all those, I, you know, having spent 13 years fishing the yeah. upper Thames at that You're using that experience. Fishing, I know all the yeah. chub pegs that were chub pegs then, they're still chub pegs Are now. They really? But the it's fishing fun, has changed. Like back then, a big fish on the Thames was two and a half to three pound. Right. Now a big fish on the Thames is six plus. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And a four pounds are quite common. So the sixes weren't about then? No, they weren't about then. That's funny, isn't it? So if I had if I had eight fish in a competition in a in a match, that's twenty just over twenty pounds. Yeah, yeah. Now if I had eight fish, you're looking at forty odd. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so, yeah. so so <laughs> You, you know, it's, it's changed completely, but yeah. what you had then was you would have what we call, say, like, well, like oh, Trev, you've drawn the chub, chub bush. 
So you had one or two bushes, you know, you know you'd have like right. 200 meters and you'd have a bush. Yeah. Another yeah. 200 meters and a bush. Yeah. Now you've got a chub bush every, yeah. every you know, every it's 50, more bushes 20 meters, meters, right? You know? yeah. yeah. So what's happened is when I was fishing, match fishing, you'd have perhaps 10 or 15 chub under that bush. Yeah. Now you've got one or two. So literally when the council come along and destroy the bank side, which it's, they've just done. Yeah. It's, it's heartbreaking, right? Because you know yeah. what it means to you. Yeah. It, it's, and, with your fishing. It's only fishing, of course. Uh, it's, it's the reason why they do it, whatever. But to see it go on, it's, it's yeah. Yeah, it's, I mean, they, they destroyed uh, they destroyed a complete cop that I'd fished yeah. for, for, you know, 30 odd years. Yeah, but, that's right. Um, but, you know, last year was our best year ever on the on, on Was the it really? Yeah, yeah. And so they moved. Yeah. And, and we, but we found them, and then they'd move again. <laughs> and, and they are very... Everybody thinks that chubs stay in one spot, but they yeah. don't. They actually move about a lot. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And this so was, they're quite no nomadic then as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We, there was. Um, I was doing some filming with um, Ben Smith from from Fox. Yeah, yeah. And he come up. And he stayed up at, at Riverside Light on the Thames. Got up early in the morning. I met him down there, and uh, I said, "Oh, you get a few perch here and that." And he, he cast out and he hit it up. Oh, and he got this gnarly old chub. Really old, yeah. gnarly really old really. chub. Yeah. yeah, nice fish. and Really gnarly yeah. old chub. So I took a couple. I took a couple of photographs and that. And then later that same week, one of my old match fishing mates, he posted. He said, "Oh, I had four fish off what we off the old pillbox, yeah. which is about 300 meters downstream right. from there." Which the fair way, 300 meters. Same fish. Same fish. Yeah. So in yeah. In, in a couple of days, it had moved. That's right. 300 yeah, meters and come up. Yeah. So yeah. you know they do move about a lot, and yeah. we found last year we'd catch one or two fish in a swim. You go back there perhaps a week later, you wouldn't catch yeah. there, but you catch farther down. There was a study, wasn't there? I was, I was reading it online last night or something, and I saw a study about fish movement, and they, they move a lot more than what we all think. So even though you're going to get some fish which are quite territorial, but a lot of them do move a lot more than what we think. Yeah, yeah and which I find know, interesting. Yeah. So you know, and like I say, we're fishing from a boat most of the time. Yeah. So we're covering a lot of water. Lot you of know, water. we're perhaps right. we're perhaps fish cover seven miles downstream, seven miles back up. Okay, so there's a so there's a bridge the width of that brick wall. How long would you give it in that swim? How many casts? With chub, they're yeah. either there and on it or not. Okay, you perch. Know? Perch, I fish a lot more. Yeah. You, you, yeah. You, you know, you yeah, you've got. A, yeah. I, this last week on Tuesday, I had Tuesday off because I worked the previous weekend. Yeah. And I fished the river for a couple of hours. It was chocolate boiling, swirling. Was it? Wind was in my face, pouring down yeah. with rain. I thought, no, still I, give it a go, or did no, you not? No, well, I, I, I thought, no. I, right. So I went to one of the gravel pits. Okay. And it was a gravel pit that I'd been. Yeah, fair kept, play. You got, you got a choice, and yeah, you would not yeah. Kept yeah. Cox and myself. Makes sense. We, 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 we knew there was some big perch in there, and we've had a couple. We've, I've, I've not had any. Kev's not had them, but we've seen them. We know that they're in there. Yeah. So I went there, and I fished that for an hour or so. Nothing. Change lure about, cast out, in. Yeah. I think it was like a perch. Turned out to be a jack. Right. Cast out to exactly the same spot next time. Another fish. Bearing in mind that I've fished all this time without catching a without a bite. Yeah. So two casts, exactly the same spot, two hits, second one, thinking it's a jack, give it a bit of stick, <laughs> up, up comes a 4-2 perch. <laughs> so, a 4-2? So, 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 netted it, put it in, nothing else, fished on, nothing, went all around the lake as far as I could, nothing, come back, exactly the same spot, cast out into exactly the same spot, yeah. had another jack. So I had three hits, all within that. I wonder who's moving to the bait and who's not. I don't know. You can't we... tell, can we? That's beautiful fishing, isn't it? Yeah, you know. And, and, and we know, we all know that perch. I've seen, I've seen a lot of underwater filming, and I know that perch are one of the first visitors to the bait. And you think, okay, so was the pike there, or did the pike come in, in for a visit? Did the perch come in for a visit? Was the perch there? I it's think to say, isn't it? it. We've this winter we found fish have been so tight. On the yeah. river, they've been tight. You know, we've perhaps covered three miles of river without a hut. I found a hit. this. I found this myself yeah. out the river. Yeah, without yeah. a hit, and then you go around yeah. the corner, bang, got one, bang, got another. Reposition yeah. the boat, bang, got another one. Yeah. And you know, we've done sort of like sixty meters, seventy meters, and we've had seven fish yeah. with a couple yeah. of doubles. Yeah, we've gone back there again and not had nothing. No. So no. and it's just that one spot, 
and I've just done a, I've just written an article for um, the Lure Anglers Club for their magazine, okay, yeah. and I've called it right place, right time, right time, right method. Yeah, yeah. And I think the right place and the right time, yeah, is probably a little bit more important than right method. Yeah. But I think you'll get away with not quite the right method as long as it's the right time right. and the right place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? So if you can fish more often, even if you're not putting in the hours, so you're going on different days, is that, do you think that's better? It's hard to if, say, if, if you knew what the right time was, yeah. then <laughs> We'd you'd, all only, be there. you'd We'd only, all be there. only yeah. fish for a couple of hours, wouldn't you? That's right. But you don't yeah. know what the right time is, no. so, so that's, that's, that's the thing, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. That, yeah. And that's the beauty of fishing, you know? Yeah, um, that's right. If you, if, you, if you could predict it that much, yeah. Then you wouldn't go, would you? No. You'd, you'd lose the interest no. in it. It's the unpredictability so. yeah. that keeps so. us going. Not, so. The not knowing. Yeah. Um, you, you, you can bring out as many scanners if, as, as you like, underwater scanners or this, that, the other. There's still a lot we don't know in it. You know? uh, the, only yeah. reason I, the, only, the only time I use my electronics on my boat, on the Thames yeah. and that, is more than anything to see drop offs and see. That's right, see drop offs, yeah, make Drop offs and see, get into get the weir pools. Yeah. You know, some of the weir pools that we fish and that, you wouldn't. It's no. 18 foot deep. You yeah. never think it. You never you know? know it. No, it's and right. We, we yeah. found some yeah. bomb holes and that, you know, when we were going. We tried to long, 20, eight, eight foot for a mile, and all of a sudden. 22 what? foot. Yeah. And you see it straight off, and I took some screenshots, like, yeah. you know, and you can yeah. see the drop off, you know. Yeah. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to get back there this winter, but I'm no. sure that the fish have been right in there. I bet they will. Yeah. You can imagine, yeah, just yeah. imagine, can't you? Yeah. That's that. Is that all right? That's pretty, Trevor. Thanks okay. so much. Thank you. No problem. Lovely. Cheers, mate. Right. I'm off home.